like I have this beautiful dress that I still have because you know and I'm thinking will I ever fit in that dress and that's sort of like I am pretty sure I'm not the only woman that that was married that bought her dress I fell in love with her dress that has that feeling like will I ever fit in my dress will things ever go back to the way they used to be and is that right like is that is that the right approach is that the right feeling to have well it depends on how long you get married because if I have to think about my first marriage <laughs> <laughs> the answer is it never goes back to what you started with it's just you have to deal with whatever it is that you have I don't think you should want to go back you're a new person you're a new woman yeah. you have new parts of your life that you didn't have before and you should embrace that but then you get pregnant and you sort of like when you're pregnant you just want to say fuck it <laughs> yeah. fuck it pasta <laughs> give it to me you have to finish your plate give it to me <laughs> i'm gonna finish your plate and guess what um sure i ate the cheese i <laughs> ate all, all the carbs because you know what i'm pregnant <laughs> <laughs> i have a beautiful fucking closet to me <laughs> to say goodbye to all of my beautiful. I don't know, say so goodbye to well, nothing. No, but the question is, do you really have to say goodbye to it? No. Like, you know, we have Nicole here, and Nicole's like a fitness person, and, and she wanted, like, and it's all about encouraging women, like, that are either mothers or not mothers. How do you obtain a body that where you feel happy, you feel happy with yourself? The one word that I keep hearing that my sister used first. And then I keep hearing with all the mothers that, that were having kids around the same time when I was having kids, you're softer. And I don't necessarily hate that word. You are softer. I won't be able to wave like I'm in a pageant. <laughs> you're not as tall. <laughs> softer muscles. When you gain yeah. and then you lose, you know, you're, you, you can't obtain and muscle <laughs> and everything. But yeah, the skin loses a certain elasticity. Yeah. Having kids in your 20s is very different versus like having kids in your 30s. Obviously, you're a mother and, and trying to bounce back, and your body does not stay the same. But also to the to when uh, before being a mother and having having you know body image issues and wanting to work towards something, we're always worrying. Yeah, we're either mothers, not mothers. We're mm -hmm. young. We're 12. Year, my 12 year old tells me that she wants a thigh gap. And we're all, as women, we're always worrying. So I love the fact that you say it's accept your body for what it is and work towards. Right, because worrying actually impedes any change that you could have with your body. Sometimes the stress that we have and like the way we beat ourselves up by looking in the mirror does so much more damage. I mean, mentally, obviously, but physically as well. You know, like the stress hormones that we release. Yeah. Those have real effects on our body, you know? Do you advise women before they start having families that having some kind of, like what is your advice to women before they start having families when it comes to their fitness? I think you need to be happy with yourself first. Mm -hmm. What can I do to, like I'm not an athletic person at all, like, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people relate to this voice. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I actually, yeah. absolutely, and to get, like, yeah. But like, like, what can I do to get on that path of becoming like to be like a healthier person and deliver a healthy baby? You said I'm not an athletic person, I'm and not. I think that's where people get twisted when yeah. it comes to fitness. They think athlete fitness, but it's not the same. You can be physically fit, do physical activities in different ways than going to a track, than lifting right. weights, you know, so you find, CrossFit or whatever. You find yeah. what makes you happy. If anyone wants to have a child, if you think that you're gonna be in better shape after, if you have absolutely no base of a physical, you know, physical activity, the answer is no. You you need that base, you need some sort of foundation, I you know, to, bu to be able to bounce back. So it's important that whatever it is that you do, you find that that outlet, that one thing that you really are drawn but to. But you can know all of that, but you have to want it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because yeah. it's like giving up any bad habit. You can know it's bad for you. You know everything about it that's bad for you, but you need to want to give it up. Um, and it's the same with like the weight thing. It's like how you feel before. So if you're, before you have a baby, it's exactly the same as afterwards. Yeah. So say before you have a baby, you're, you know, you're a little bit overweight. You don't really like going to the gym and you're like, oh, next week or I'm just gonna have this cake you're gonna be like that afterwards mm -hmm. Whereas yeah I, I my background with acrobatics and Cirque du Soleil you have to keep fit in your yes. life so you're constantly fit so all of my friends that have had babies 
they immediately, within six to eight weeks, go back to being fit right. because they're going back to what they were. Just be who you are. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you are who you are before the pregnancy and after the pregnancy. Embrace it. Do you think we should work out before we get pregnant? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I do. Right? Even if it's walking or if it's running. Or even if you don't or get pregnant. Or yeah. if you don't get pregnant. Right? I mean, even if you don't get pregnant. There is no you're gonna see working out. There's no negative effect to working out, right? There's no. There's a negative effect to being excessive right. with working yes. out. 80 20. If you want to have a family, 80 20. I like 80, that 80 20. I like that idea. What do you say? 80 20. I'm 80% good. 80% good. 20% bad. Everything. I love that. Food, exercise. Okay. 80% Louis, 20% Louis. Bad. Everything. I food, love that. Well, I know. Here we go. Lesson learned. Thank you.